What is going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and the first in-game challenge event just went live for Season 2. It is currently known as Horde Hunt. You can earn free zombie rewards. Yes, extra rewards for MWZ, like acquisitions, while doing challenges in Horde Hunt. And Horde Hunt can be completed in, I believe, both Zombies and Warzone, as we're about to get through. This event will last for the next month-ish. So you'll also be able to hunt special HVTs every week to earn even more rewards, which is really damn cool. So with that in mind, let's check out the brand new playlist before we go over the event tab, because one playlist in particular is very important for doing this. If you're wanting to kill zombies over in multiplayer, we have the new Horde Hunt Armored Apocalypse LTM, as you can see. And this is a mode available on lots of maps, nearly most of them. We have our new season two map, Vista, also included in this one, which is cool. So, yes, this is Horde Hunt from World War II 2017. And then about 23 hours from now, we're going to be seeing a small map Moss Pit release, which will feature Stash House, Rust, Meat, and Shipment. Perfect for those out there that want to go ahead and do some camel grinding. But if you just want to play Stash House, the brand new Nuketown equivalent on its own, you can do that in a 24-7 playlist, which will probably be live for the next week-ish. And then we'll end up getting other dedicated playlists for the other new 66 maps, Vista and even Departures. But War Mode also has its own playlist right now. You can check out the brand new Operation Tin Man Mission from this one. It's incredible. We just played it on stream at a blast. And then Team Gun Game, very damn cool experience. Uh, also live on a couple of 6v6 maps, as you can see. Rio, High Rise, Karachi, Rust, Scrapyard, and even Terminal. So those are our playlists as of right now. But with that, checking out the brand new event tab. This is called Horde Hunt, which will again last 24 days. Later this week, we're going to see a Year of the Dragon XP focused event, which is going to be tied to the Chinese New Year. If you go ahead and use the Dragon Soul uh, Lunar New Year skin, you get an XP boost towards that. But that'll be starting, I believe it's this Thursday or Friday. I think it's Friday, but we'll check that out. Sometimes the uh, actual time in which an event starts is incorrect in the event tab. But three future zombie collections remaining to unlock, as you can see. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to remind you about MitchCactus.com, where you can get assistance grinding camos, nukes, or schematics in MW3. These guys do not use unlock tools or any bannable methods and will actually help you play the game. MitchCactus is also supported by Trustpilot with over 10,000 verified reviews. You can use code Dynamite for a limited time to save 5% off your order. So, kill zombies and collect their bones to unlock zombie acquisitions. Additionally, every week, hunt down new featured zombie types and collect their skulls to unlock exclusive undead rewards. You should be able to do this in any mode that does feature zombies. We're seeing zombies pop up in Operation Tin Man, the brand new war map. You're also seeing zombies pop up in Horde Hunt by playing multiplayer. You should be seeing zombies pop up in Fortune's Keep, in which they'll probably rotate different HVTs in every week, so you have a chance to then find Hellhounds and Mimic mix later on while playing the new Warzone Resurgence experience, or you could just hop into regular MWZ, kill the zombies that way. So you have multiple ways in which you should be able to do this, but I do want to remind you guys, if for whatever reason there are tracking issues where you're not seeing skulls pop up in multiplayer or Warzone, maybe that'll get fixed, or it's intentional for you to only do this through zombies. That's unknown, but I will update a detonated article and a pinned comment down below when we do get more information. So by collecting 75 bones or skulls from base zombies, you'll get an epic ether tool you're getting actual zombie acquisitions from this event which is really damn cool so it's kind of similar to trophy hunt an event that we saw in modern warfare 2 where every time you kill an enemy things drop from them except this time you're not seeing skulls and bones drop from real players only from ai zombies your second reward will be something blank we're not sure what that will be but once again we will learn the information relatively soon and i'll update information down below or in an article 155 bones are required for that and then for 310 bones, there's a third reward that we just don't know about right now. For some reason, that icon is blank or bugged out. I'm sure they'll fix that with a hot fix in the next couple of hours or whatnot. An epic ether tool for 625 bone collections. And then another blank one for 1250. Legendary ether tool for 2500 bones you can go ahead and collect from base zombies, of course. Another blank one for 5,000, which will definitely take people quite a bit. So there's a reason why this event lasts 24 days. It'll take you a decent amount of time to kill X amount of base zombies to get a bunch of bones there. And I'm sure a uh, set amount of bones will drop per zombie kill. And we're going to go over that later in this video. But there's also a ray gun case, a base acquisition for the wonder weapon that you'll get for collecting 10,000 bones from base zombie kills. So it's not the schematic. It gives you a permanent ray gun, but just an acquisition. So... This will be fun to grind out over the next couple of weeks, of course. But second, by collecting 600 skulls or whatever drops from an armored zombie, you will then get the Tiny Screams Charm. It looks like you could do both of these as of right now. You can find base zombies and armored zombies 
in any mode of your choice. I I'm sure armored zombies aren't in the war mode or in the fortune's keep experience yet maybe they are we're gonna check that out in a second but you should be seeing plenty of armored zombies and base ones of course when playing regular mwz and probably even horde hunt the ltm for multiplayer but coming soon we have a dogs of hell animated calling card for killing x amount of hellhounds and it's unclear how many we have to kill we're not going to know that for another week or two and then that's a cool calling card unlock for doing that it's unclear if there'll be, you know, a set of acquisitions you can get or a set of other rewards in this one category, um, like there is for this one. There's obviously just one reward for the Armored Zombie, but we'll have to wait and see if they update anything for the Hellhound. And lastly, the Mimic. So this is another collection that we can't do yet, but the reward for collecting, I guess, X amount of Skulls or Bones from Mimics will be something called Cursed Ammo. And it's unclear how that would work. How do you use Cursed Ammo inside of Zombies? Can you equip it? through the gunsmith on all your weapons, something you can get in game. It's a new feature that I guess hasn't been announced or talked about at all through any zombie blog post. So let's wait and see how that's gonna end up working. But then as a reward for collecting or by finishing all collections in the Horde Hunt event, there will be what is called the Kill Shot Operator skin, which you can actually preview. And it is a skin for Swagger, which actually looks pretty damn cool. Always love to see free operator skin unlocks from doing stuff in let's say Warzone or even zombies. Very, very cool. I saw somebody in chat mention that it could be an ammo box skin. But no, I think the fact that it's called Cursed Ammo means that it's something special that will probably affect actual gameplay. But yeah, this is the Operator skin unlock that we can get, I guess, for another two, three weeks. And so they go ahead and unlock the Hellhound the Mimic as a part of this event. There we go. So names. folks, as you kill zombies oh. in the Horde... Oh, there's even weapons that drop. What? So as you kill zombies in the new Horde Hunt mode... They will drop bones and skulls, both of which are necessary for the two collections that are currently live in this event. And we did do nukes. Nukes to kill more zombies and then their, their skulls and bones drop even faster. Wow. There we go. RGL definitely clutch for this. Still in my shit. <laughs> well, actually I get the kill, so. I got yeah. the kill. Yeah. Down. It I won't take people long down. to go ahead and grind all these skulls and bones. I mean, the zombies are getting harder as well over time. There's a nuke. Oh my God. How many do you, how many bones do you have? I have hold on. 160. Oh, okay, yeah, so it, it it's not it's not tracked. I just found a pack-a-punched weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, you can get pack-a-punched weapons in multiplayer for the first time ever. Oh my god. I don't know, probably super busy if I get it. Alright, Chad, this is just about the end of our first match of Horde Point, and we actually got a decent amount of skulls and bones. There's a lot of people pushing us at once, but I don't think there's a cap on how many you can get. If a cap is found, I will pin a comment down below or put an update in a detonated article. All right, so if you pop into MW Zombies, shout out to Literate Claw for the Free Speed Cola, you will see the Bone and Skull collection icons and trackers on your attack map, which means you could collect Skulls and Bones while playing Zombies. Hopefully that's really clear. The problem is not every zombie will drop what you need. It's going to be a little rare. I'm going to say they're pushing you more to play Horde Point or Fortune's Keep. We're going to hop into Fortune's Keep and see how many do drop from zombies. But right now, it's not looking good. <laughs> I I'm guessing maybe in higher tier zones, they'll drop more. But either way, you'll be better off very quickly burning through those collections while playing multiplayer. If you don't own Mono Warfare 3, then only way you can do this is in Warzone anyway through Fortune's Keep. All right, so somebody in chat may have just confirmed that this is probably bugged. We're not going to be able to see the exact drop rate of Bones and Skulls and Zombies until they fix that. Not sure what happened there, but <laughs> the actual Zombies mode doesn't seem to be cooperating properly with the new event. I mean, killing them in different threat zones, doing tier 3 contracts doesn't seem to be spawning in any Skulls or Bones. So for now, we're going to move on from Zombies chat. It doesn't seem to be working. But again, information will be updated in the article and in the pin comment down below about how the drop rates work and what's fastest in beating this. But already I could tell multiplayer is going to be the move. We're talking hundreds per match off the rip. All right, folks. So if you want to kill zombies over in Warzone to progress through Horde Hunt, you have to find the zombie eradication contract, which looks just like that. And maybe in a future update, they'll have it to where zombies can randomly roam around the map or underground your ground zero. Haven't been able to find zombies anywhere but through the eradication contract. Let's go ahead and grab that, as well as a weapon. And we have a chopper. Let's go. 
And you can obviously see, or actually can't see, the Skull and Bones tracker just yet, but it'll be right next to where my armor plate is. You'll see that pop up. When we went to Ground Zero, that did pop up, but zombies weren't there, but it should pop up now. Let's see. Gonna investigate this zombie. Very cool. Now we can track the zombie. The Horde Hunt tracker is now on my HUD, which is good. So I guess anytime you're near an area where zombies could be, the tracker should pop up. I guess in Ground Zero, zombies could spawn, but we just didn't see it when we were there. I need a gas mask. Obviously recommended for this. Zombies about to spawn in like crazy though, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh my god. Hey, hey, he's incoming. Oh. Somebody's here. And people are coming. Bad timing, bad timing. But as you can see, getting power ups from the zombies. A little bit different than Horde Hunt from MP. I can't even kill the uh Oh my god. We just got a decent amount there. Wow. The stress in his voice. There's the BP-50 in action. Oh my god. Brand new weapon for season two. Now, honestly, chat, we just got 340 skull, um, 340 bones and five skulls from doing that. All right, so it does seem like about three zombie eradication contracts spawn per game. Yeah, we got about three in this match. If you're lucky to maybe tackle all three in a match, you can probably go ahead and collect a really solid amount of skull and bones. But again, if other teams end up getting those contracts, maybe you'll get the contracts cycled back in if other contracts get completed. But for the most part, multiplayer is like the guarantee right now to get the max amount. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section on what you're thinking about the new Horde HUD event for Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3 and even Warzone. We've gotten quite a bit done already, and it may have seemed like Warzone was the fastest way to just get a bunch of skulls and bones, but as more people begin to find out about how those contracts work and the fact that it might be the fastest method, more and more squads are going to be dropping in that contract. So I think right now, multiplayer's Horde Hunt LTM or Horde Point LTM is probably your fastest way. But once you learn more about zombies, I'll make a follow-up video and drop more information in the detonated article and a comment down below. But with that being said, leave all your thoughts down below. Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.